Hi guys, welcome to another Divi 4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting this little site together with the new Divi 4 theme from Elegant Themes. It's absolutely awesome. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Today, we're going to put together this little gallery right here. It's going to be a short video because this is so easy to do. And if you click on it, it'll pop out into a little light box. But you see these all over the place and they're pretty effective. So let's get started. I'm going to go to the page that I haven't got this on. I'm going to enable the vis visual builder, enable visual builder up the top there. Left click. Once the visual builder is loaded, let's scoot down to where we want to work which will be below this last section here. I'm going to add a new section. little blue button there to add a new section. Regular section. And inside I'm just going to put one column, one row. And let's go down. By default Divi comes with all these modules as standard. If you have a shop and you've got WooCommerce installed there'll be another 16 that will appear there for just for WooCommerce. So let's put a gallery module in. And there we go. And like I say, this is going to be pretty short because it's really easy to do. It's going to prompt you to add some images. It looks like it's added some at random there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's kind of a weird shape. Let's do that one. I'm going to put eight of them in there. Obviously, you can put more or less. It's entirely up to you. Once they're in them, you can drag them around. Just left click and pull to sort of drag them where you want to put them. Looks like I got two exactly the same there. Let's trash that one and add a new one. Really doesn't matter. And I'll just skip these around so we've got light, dark, light, dark, just for effect. Okay, and as you can see, it's popped them in there. But at the moment, we can only see four. And you've got the actual names of the pictures underneath or the captions. I don't really want that. As you can see, I downloaded these from Unsplash, unsplash.com, which is a great free stock photo site. So, well, I want all eight to display and I don't want this junk underneath here so let's fix that. Order wise it's default it's in the order that I put them up here you can select it to be random if you want to I'm gonna leave mine on default reason we can only see four here is because the image count is set to four let's set that to eight and we should be able to see all eight of them there we go fantastic elements this is where we want to turn off anything we don't want we we haven't got pagination at the bottom because there's no extra images after eight. So if there was 20 images and we had it set to eight, you'd have pagination saying next or next page. So I can turn that off. And I don't want our title and caption either. There we go. So we got rid of that junk underneath. We've got eight and there's no pagination. If you wanted to link it to somewhere like our services page, if these were advertising your services or your contact page or even an external page, anytime anybody actually clicked on it, you could do that by putting a URL in there. If you leave it blank, by default, it's going to pop out into a light box. I'm not sure if it'll do it here or not. No, not while I'm in the builder. OK, background color. I'm not going to change that at the moment because I'm going to end up scooting these right next to each other and filling the whole screen with them so a background's not going to do us much good. Now to do that I want to go up to the design tab, layout. At the moment we've got it on grid. If you wanted it to be just a regular little slideshow one after the other you could switch it to slider. And they'll just go like that, like a little regular regular slider and obviously I'd make it a lot smaller than that with something on the side perhaps I'll do that in another video let's put this back to grid because that's the way I want it overlay 
Now when I hover over it, it's got that sort of white color and a blue icon there. I'm actually going to opposite that. I'm going to change it to blue because we've been using this blue and I'm going to make the icon orange. So let's do that. Hit the overlay. Icon color. I'm going to make that orange. And overlay background background color. I'm going to make blue. Now I want to see a bit of the image through there. So I'm just going to click on the blue. And pull the right hand slider down. The opacity. Not too much. Maybe about a third. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's fine. It's still blue and you can see the image behind it. So we're getting there. We've got the icon, the right color, and the overlay, the right color. So let's go about making this full width and making them butt up against each other like we had in this one. And again, it's really easy to do with Divi. I'm just going to save that, hit the little green button. Now we've got tabs up here. We've got a blue one for the section. We've got a green one for the row, which we're going to be working on right now. And we've got a dark gray one for the actual module. We want the green one. So I'm going to hit the little cog. Now then I want to go to design tab. I want to go to sizing. I'm going to say use custom gutter width. The gutter width is the gaps between these images or the gaps between the rows and the columns if you like. So I'm going to flip that to on and I'm going to flip that all the way to left to zero and as you can see they're butted up against each other which is just what I wanted. Now the other thing I wanted to do was to make this full width and again we're still on the design tab here. I could probably make this a little smaller so we can see what we're going on here. Scroll down a little bit. Width. You can slide that all the way up to 100%. I'm going to copy the 100%, or you can just type it in below in max width. Control V to paste. Bunk. Suddenly we've got a full width section with the images on top of each other like that. I really like that. All we need to do is save now. Let's save our changes on the page. Little purple button, hit the save. Once saved, let's exit the Visual Builder. And let's go down and see what we've got. There it is, there's our full width image gallery with a light box effect. So if we click on this image, it should pop out. There we go. Fantastic, just what the doctor ordered. Now I don't know what some of these images have to do with the web design theme, but there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.